Okay, welcome back. You guys are fantastic. Uh, this has been an amazing first three days of the festival. And tomorrow, four more films tomorrow. And then we'll do our next Alright, I hope you enjoyed Pushover. Uh, it was a really uh, very tight little film. I enjoy that. Uh, but we're going to do our, uh, our typical... Oh, I, I think I forgot my card. Um, I did, I forgot my card back there. Oh, I'll make it up. That's okay. <laughs> yes, okay, I, I know, I don't understand. Uh, so we're going to play Name That Noir, and uh, I do have a couple of contestants here who are so perfectly attired for the event. How could we resist having them come up on stage? Mr. <laughs> Guest, enter and sign in, please. You guys running from the law or something? No last name? <laughs> okay, all right, very good. Well, I want you to know that you are playing for a uh, Blu-ray of Gun Crazy from the, uh, from the Warner Archives collection. Supercharged with energy, nonstop action, violence, passion, and sex. Remarkably contemporary. Okay, with, with my dear friend Peggy right there on the cover. Okay, here's the deal. Let me see if I can remember this question as I, as I wrote it off the stage. Um, Co-star of both of tonight's movies, Dorothy Malone, right, former Texas beauty queen, um, came to Hollywood early in the, the mid-1940s. She is made her breakthrough role, was in a 1946 mystery in which she played a randy and willing bookstore clerk <laughs> who has a dalliance with Humphrey Bogart on a rainy Los Angeles afternoon. Can you say that Okay, very good. You guys are getting good at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He has to consult with his attorney. <laughs> yeah, cover the mic. Okay, very good. Okay, Anne, do you have an answer? He just can't remember the name of it. That is kind of the point of the contest here. Come on, Bill. I know I've got a pretty good bottle of wine in my pocket. No, you got to be kidding me. And what, if I told, what if I told you that Humphrey Bogart played a very famous private eye in this movie, uh, the author of, creator of which is one of the most revered names in American crime fiction, and uh, yeah, Lauren Bacall is in the movie too. Oh, I can't go much further than that. Come on. Uh, you know what movie it is. The Sicilian Eagle. No, no. Large, large nap. Yeah. Large nap. Yeah. I actually knew one of these. I never know. I know when they when you are that last year. I have to tell you honestly, Bill. Bill, when he agreed to do this, he said, "I'm fine getting up there, but I know my mind's going to go blank as soon as I get on stage." I said, there's no way, man. Because I, I know you've been coming to this festival for years, yeah. both of you. And it's like, yeah. So tell all your friends that our minds went completely blank when he asked probably the easiest question. <laughs> and it was kind of hanging out there. But, okay. But th hey, thanks for appearing today on today's version of Name That Just because I want to turn the tables, I'm going to bring somebody up here and I'm going to say, so here's your question. What is film noir? <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to answer, but I've been doing it for 20 years, so, you know, it's, you kind of come up with something. Anyway, okay, the movie that you're about to see, I'm very excited to show this. Uh, this is one of the rarer films in the festival. Uh, I am indebted to the British Film Institute for providing us with this 35 millimeter print of the film. 
Uh, prepare yourself. It's not going to be as ugly as the well was, but it's not going to be perfect either. Uh, but this is another example of a dirty cop film from the 1950s. Uh, although you empathize, I think, very much with these two guys, played by Howard Duff and Steve Cochran. And uh, the film is very much enlivened by the appearances of Dorothy Malone, of course, and the great Ida Lupino, who plays a character named the Lily Marlowe, which could have been another clue for these guys. But, uh, um, she, she basically, if you've seen the movie Roadhouse, where she appears with uh, Richard Widmark, she basically is playing that exact same character from Roadhouse in this film like 10 years later, okay? So not quite 10 years later. Um, the thing that's memorable about this movie is um, I, I read Don Siegel's uh, autobiography and he recalls this movie as being uh, quite an ordeal for him, a challenge for him because all of the cast is drunk. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to... It sounds funny, but uh, the reason for this may have been because it's a production of The Filmmakers, which is a company created by Collier Young, who is a writer and producer, and his wife, Ida Lupino. Uh, and she directed a lot of the movies that The Filmmakers produced. But at the time this movie was made, Collier Young and Ida Lupino had broken up. And now Ida Lupino was Mrs. Howard Duff, who was the star of the movie. But, trust me, Steve Cochran